Today on Redneck Ramblings, we're going to talk about Bone Snapper X-Ray Straight Rye Whiskey. This is a four-year reserve, so stay tuned. Howdy, my friends. We have what might be a real treat tonight. This could be a really good rye whiskey, or it could be garbage. I got a feeling it's going to be pretty good. This is the uh, Bone Snapper X-Ray Straight Rye Whiskey. It is, uh, it's from Backbone Bourbon Company, and uh, we'll get into that in a little bit here. This is a four-year reserve, and as you can see, they do give you a batch number and the proof and the percentage of alcohol. This is a 110 proof. Um, it is batch number four. There's a couple things about this that I didn't really, I didn't know when I bought it. I've never had this before, and I know nothing about this company. <clears throat> but um, apparently, this this is only the fourth batch of this they, they've made, and they state their cases produced is 200 cases. I'm assuming that's 200 cases per batch. Um, I didn't realize it was kind of a limited release, or I might have bought another a second bottle uh, to keep sealed. But we're gonna we're gonna pop this open tonight, and we're gonna take a look at it and see what it uh, tastes like. Let's take a look at the side over here. You have the barrel date and the bottle date, so it it is not quite a uh, a year old yet. Uh, so this is uh, still January of 2022. So it was bottled in uh, February of 2021. Um, here's the back label. If you want to read that, you can pause it and read it. Um, don't know that there was a whole lot of uh, inf information on here other than what they're telling you you should taste in it. But like I've said before, I don't always taste what they tell me I should be tasting in these in the in the liquor. Um, one thing that is very interesting about this company, so. Uh, Backbone Bourbon Company is the company that makes this, and they have a few items. This is not their only. Uh, this is not their only product. They also have a um, just a straight, a straight rye whiskey that is not a four-year reserve, so it's not aged four years. This one is aged four years. I believe they're the same recipe. Um, I, I'm going to have to try the other one now just to see what the difference in these is. But uh, I believe they're the same recipe. This one is aged four years, and it is somewhat of a limited release. But um, they, uh, Backbone Bourbon Company, they market themselves as whiskey merchants. And if you go to their website, um, they, uh, I, I give them kudos for this. Um, I'll tell you in a wait a minute. But they openly state that they purchase whiskey by the barrel from someone else, and then they bottle it and they sell it. So they're actually, they actually purchase whiskey. They, they're aging this for four years themselves. And they're bottling it and they're selling it. And I know there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, a negative feelings toward them for that, but I could I give them kudos for that because a lot of companies don't tell you that they're doing that. There are some uh, very expensive and very popular liquors on the market that are nothing more than 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 liquor that was purchased from someone else, bottled and sold to you as a craft liquor. It is. Um, borderline scam in my in my book but it is what it is it is legal and they're allowed to do it um, they do tell us that this was um, uh, distilled in Lawrenceburg Indiana so you could probably look up uh, major distillers in Lawrenceburg and um, see where it's uh, uh, probably taking a guess at where it was made at um, I think I know where it's made just because of the mash bill this is a 95% rye, 5% malted barley. Um, that's a pretty high mash bill um, for, for rye. That's a pretty high uh, mash bill for a rye whiskey. Normally they're, you know, 60s and 70%. Um, there is another rye whiskey in the market that I really like that is the same mash bill. 95% rye whiskey, 5% malted barley. And I know where they buy their, their, their liquor from. So I suspect it's the same company making both of these. If it is, I'm not going to be disappointed in this, um, but uh, we'll find out shortly. So let's take the band off of this and uh, pop the top and let's do some sampling. All right. 
you got that uh, pesky band off of there. And uh, you just use my little Leatherman for that. But um, I am really anxious to, to try this. I've, uh, I've, I've sat on this for a, a couple weeks now, and I'm, I'm really anxious to try this. So I'll tell you what, let's um, just slide this glass over here so you can get a better look at the pour. Spill it. And that is a tight cork, which is good. Oh, yeah. It is an artificial cork, which I have no problems with that. Ooh. That smells good. You know, um, honestly, for a rye whiskey, it's got a sweeter smell than I expected. Uh, that smells really good. I, I don't know if it's picking up some of the, uh, you know, um, Interesting. It's got a sweet smell to it. I um, but you can definitely smell the rye. I'm gonna smell that too. This I have been looking forward to. That's a pretty good pour there. I'm gonna let that breathe because I got a feeling I'm gonna want some more of this. Oh yeah. Oh, you can smell that rye. Woo wee. Yes, check that out. That is a gorgeous color. I like that. Yes, you can smell that rye. It's uh, 110 proof. So what I'm expecting up front is definite rye flavor. Um, being aged four years, I'm expecting it to be a little rounded on the edges. Um, be a little mellowed, a little more subdued than just the uh, um, in-your-face rye flavor, but uh, um, this is 95% rye, it's gonna have a rye flavor to it. And um, 110 proof, it's gonna have a little bit of bite. I do not suspect this is gonna be a drinking whiskey, and in fact, if you're gonna sit here and do shots, shot after shot of this, this is gonna be a sipping whiskey. That's just my speculation. Let's, uh, let's give it a sample here and see what we think. Wow. I'll tell you right now, if you do not like rye whiskey, don't even waste your money on this. Um, this is a little bit of a little, little pricey bottle. It's not that expensive. It's, uh, I think the MSRP on it's like 55 bucks, something like that. Um, I'll tell you right now, it's worth 55 bucks. That's actually, that's actually a really good rye whiskey. I'm a rye whiskey fan. I like rye. I, I like that rye bite. Um, you can um, you can tell it's 110 proof. This has got the, I mean, this is warm. This keeps you warm um, long after it's in your belly. It's got a little sweet on the lips. Did you get that rye? You get that rye on your tongue. You get the rye on the back of the tongue. You get a little bit of a alcohol on a rye burn, um, but nothing, nothing, nothing bad at all. Um, I've had a lot rougher whiskeys um, and a lot lower proof than this. I like this. This is really good. If you like a, if you like a rye whiskey, um, I, it, I, I highly recommend this. This is, uh, this is, this is really good. Like I said, you're not going to do shot after shot of this. This is, uh, it'll put you on the floor if you do that. But uh, this is a really nice sipping whiskey. This is something that you just uh, uh, sit around and sip on while playing cards or talking with friends or uh, watching TV or something. This is nice. Take a look at that color. If I can get out of the camera, you can see it. That is a gorgeous color. I like that. A little bit of sweet there in the front. I don't know if that is a. Uh, I don't know if that is a little bit of the uh, the caramel pulling out from the uh, from the cask, or I'm not sure because rye doesn't typically have a sweet to it. But um, that is good. That is really good. And um, it, it for a 
for 110 proof rye whiskey, it is pretty smooth. I'm gonna have to try their uh, their uh, normal age, which is probably just a uh, maybe a two year. I'd have to go see. Um, I think in order to call it a straight whiskey, they got they have to age it for two years. So we'll have to see. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get their uh, their regular rye and see if it is a straight. If it's not a straight whiskey, then it could be aged uh, a month. Anything up to two years. Normally, if it's a you call it a straight whiskey, they're going to be uh, uh, aged two years. I think in order to legally do that. But yeah, um, Backbone Bourbon Company. I'm going to have to try a few more of their products. I've never had anything from them, and um, I like this. But um, don't let it bother you that um, don't let it bother you that they tell you that they they purchase this whiskey from someone else and they they just bottle it and sell it. Like I said, very common practice, and it's not just the whiskey industry that does this. The whole liquor industry is like that. There are um, some really big distilleries in this country or around this globe that you'll never see their names on the shelves. Uh, you'll never see their names on a bottle of whiskey, um, bottle of uh, scotch or uh, bottle of rum, tequila, vodka, anything, because someone else makes it, and... Uh, they make it, they sell it to somebody, and that person bottles it and sells it as their own. That's how all these uh, musicians and these uh, celebrities can come out with their own labels all of a sudden. Um, trust me, they've not been distilling liquor and uh, putting it away to age. They're, they're paying someone else to do it. But I like this. This is, this is really good. This is really good. And um, I do give them kudos for just being right, uh, straight right up front and telling you that... Um, um, they did buy this from someone else, but I think I know who made this and um, um, Because uh, two reasons number one it does share the match bill with uh, another rye whiskey that I'm I'm very fond of and um, Number two I need to try their straight their straight rye and see if it matches the uh, flavor profile that I'm used to Because uh, if it does I, I I know who they got this from but I got my suspicions. Um, they do not tell you who they bought it from, and that's uh, probably part of their agreement with them. So I, I suspect. So, but that's it. This is a highly recommend. I'm going to sit here and do a, a one or two more of these. I'm not going to drink too much more of this, but uh, I'm going to do one or two more little shots of this and uh, call the night. Thank you. You have a good night.